Right guys, you're in for a treat. You've clicked on it, you've seen the title, you're gonna get exactly what you've come for today. I'm gonna to get some pain. This is Rockliffe Hall, statistically the hardest golf course in England, in the United Kingdom, and possibly in Europe. This place has a course rating of 79. That's right, that means it plays to the average scratch player seven shots harder. And you'll notice right here, off this tee, this is the back black tees, 7,200 yards, where we're going is all the way up here. As a course rating 79, a three handicap, we're gonna have a target. Now, those of you who watch the channel, you know I like to set targets that are achievable but challenging. Our target is 82. You might say that's easy, which is 10 over par. Let me tell you, I think this golf course could really, really beat you up. Never before in my life have I had to zap how far it is to get to the fairway. Oh, Sebastian, it's 244 yards to get to the green. Yes, this is a par four. 600 yard, par five, into wind. Constant, four, five foot putts apart are gonna wear a man down. Driver, three wood, three wood, ripped. And I'm sure it wouldn't be a bad six, but it'd be a brilliant five. Oh, do it for me, do it for me one time before I put myself through this punishment. What is it statistically that makes a golf course so difficult? Isn't it the slope rating that measures the difficulty of a golf course? Well, no, apparently not, as I recently found out talking to Mike at England Golf. The difficulty of a tee set is the, uh, is the course rating. That's calculated using specific measurement points uh, and specific standards. Uh, we've got a copy of the, uh, the course rating standards here. Uh, which are quite substantial and, and these are what county rating teams use. The length of the course, the fairway width, how many hazards, the dog legs, the speed of the greens, sets of measurements yes. that give you an output to a number, to an exact score. Never before in my life have I had to zap how far it is to get to the fairway. Come and Sebi, up the right hand side. Right. I think we're just on a fair, we're in the second cut, we'll take that. It's 244 yards to get to the green. Yes, this is a par four. It wasn't a pure middle drive, it was a pretty solid hit. Um, I think we're gonna be hitting a lot of driver three woods on par fours today. How many greens can I hit? How many fairways can I hit? I'm gonna be honest, I'm hitting a very, very conservative target. I wanna try and hit five greens in reg, five fairways. Bear in mind there are par threes with no fairways. How many putts? I say less than 30 putts. I mean, it's just hit as hard as I can down there. I mean, it's a pretty good strike. Go ball, just run for days for me. Yeah, it's probably gonna be about 40 yards short, guys, I'm not gonna lie. 53 yards. I mean, it's basically a par five. It's not bad either, you know, we've got a putt for par. Okay, this one I'm really doing for all the short hitters out there. Just so you guys know, the new to the channel, yeah, I'm a three handicap. My driving carries about 240 yards. So this one's for all the short hitters out there. This one's gonna be, it's gonna have to be perfect course management. I'm gonna have to putt so, so well to shoot any sort of score. Wow. Okay, I played that hole pretty well. And uh, it's a bogey. One over through one, 220 yards the flag. The wind is helping a little bit, but this is the weakness, guys. Par three is my weakness, my ball strike is my weakness. I'm normally fairly good off the tee, fairly good around the greens, it's that middle bit. It's a three wood, it's a three wood. Come on, let's get a nice early par underway. I've struck it beautiful, you know. It's out to the right hand side, didn't turn back. I think that's gonna be front edge. Well guys, we're on. One green in rig, tick, done. Okay, slight misread, but it's perfect pace. Come on, we're off. First part in the books. All right, just looking at the card, trying to identify the best opportunities to try and make a birdie today. I think this might be one of them. As you can see, the tea complex here, one of the best things of Rockcliffe, there are so many tea complexes. This one, 538 off the golds. I mean, off the yellows, it's only 500. So it's only like 30 yards difference, which for some of them, bearing in mind, some of these go as much as like 150 yards difference. This one's not too bad. Possibly chance for birdie, par five. One thing I do know already, I'm gonna need every single club in my bag. Right, come on then, let's try and take advantage. Use this opportunity. We're not going to get many of them. Yep. We're not getting on in two, don't get excited, but we might actually be able to attack a pin. Down there. One good thing off these gold back tees is that I'm so far back, I can hit good drives, I can't even get to the hazard. 
So I'm nowhere near those bunkers. The bad news is it's 283 yards to the front of the green. So it's downwind, but I mean, I just can't get there. I mean, I'm hitting this thing lovely today, which is a very good omen. Again, can't, can't get to that greenside bunker. So I think we're gonna have a nice chip and a putt for our first birdie of the day. I say first, as if there's gonna be more. There probably won't be. They say ignorance is bliss. It's been 10 years since I played here. I did not remember that thing. Thank goodness I didn't think about that because I've only just hit 15 yards inside it. Forgot it was there, water hazard, we've got away with it. We've got 69 yards up and down for our first birdie, come on. We're cooking. Special round of golf calls for special things. Check this out. This is from the pro shop, not the master shop, the pro shop. Only one way to get this, guys. Only one way to get this. Level par through three is something I could only have dreamed of in my bed last night. Downhill this way, surely. The wind's sort of blowing that way. I always struggle to read against the wind. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I just do. I think he's got to go that way. <laughs> I really thought that was going to stop. I was going to be so fuming. Birdie, tick, green in reg, tick, fairway in reg, tick. That is special. That is special. Stroke index three, 492 yard par four. Just as a little teaser of what's to come. Mentioned earlier, I'm playing that stroke index challenge where I filmed me playing 18 stroke index one. See what I shoot for a, a whole round of stroke index one. Stroke index one here on the hardest golf course in the country, 480 yards. Not the longest par four here, the longest par four here is actually the 11th at 503 yards, stroke index six. So there's gonna be a lot more to that one. So stay tuned for that. The hardest hole or the hardest golf course in the country. That's gonna be interesting. This is the third hardest hole. Wind's going across. It looks like there's water down there. I think I'll keep this left, but I can't see left and the rough is big. All right, this is the first real, real test where it's not just distance, it's actual difficulty. Wait, 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 I almost forgot. I've got something very exciting to tell you. My good friends at TaylorMade have said I can give one of you an entire bag of your very own TaylorMade clubs totally for free. And unlike this golf course, it's going to be a super easy giveaway to enter. Just click on the link in the description, enter your details about you and your handicap, and that's it. You are in, and you can start thinking about what clubs you'll go for, as you can pick a full bag of whatever clubs you want. Right, now, back to the grind. Yes! We like that, riding on the wind. I'm hoping that's good, line. Coming back on the edge of the bunker. It's gonna be an enormous second, but it's a dry one. 206 to get on, so we're in range. We're physically capable of getting on in two, and as you can see, we've just got to the fairway. We're on the fairway by 20 yards, maybe. Uh, missed the water right, only just though. 200 to the green, 230 to the flag. It's downwind though. I don't know if I need to hit three wood here. I might just hit a hybrid, try and get on the front edge. I'm gonna go for the left side of the green here. I wanna keep that water out of play if I can. I'm so happy with that. It's moving to the right now. I'm so pleased with this. It's rolling on. Oh, you know what, guys? I woke up this morning, I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get after this, come on. I've got, technically, a birdie putt. Again, third time in a row. This is, this is going better than I hoped, but there's a long way to go. Ah, thought I'd hit it too hard and then it slowed up. Okay, it's gonna be one of these and these are gonna be commonplace today. <clears throat> okay, it's a five. It's a disappointing five because I was on a real momentum run there. The shortest of all the par threes, which you think would make me excited, but it's just my worst number, guys. Long iron play. I haven't had to hit an iron yet today. I'm gonna have to hit one here, I think. 187 yards to the flag, 200 to the back. I could hit a hybrid, but I don't want to risk going long. So it probably is a four iron. Got to make these decisions right. Four iron or hybrid. I prefer to hit a hybrid. Get on is 170, so it's 198 to the back. So it's 10 yards behind the flag. I don't see me flying this more than 200. Wind across. I'm going to go with hybrid, guys. I'm going to do it. Oh, Sebastian. Middle of the green. Be the number. Thank God I hit this club. It's on the green. It's a green in reg. A long way from the hole though. Up over a ridge here, not a massive break. What a beautiful hole. I think I'm gonna leave the flag in for this one. All about pace. <sighs> Left another one short. God, these constant four, five foot putts apart are gonna wear a man down. 
Come on. Still no consecutive bogeys on the card. Drug index 15, not as long. Gettable in two, but bunkers left and right. Tough, tough hole. Got to be a good drive. Got to take it on, I think. Oh, thank God this driver's working today. Right in the middle of the fairway. 198. I don't really want to go long here. It looks pretty rubbish long. There's a bunker's short. There is a gap to the right. I think they just play up the right side of the green. I think it's a four iron, which means this is officially the first iron of the round. I mean, it's a terrible strike, but it's, it's down the right hand side. It's rolling. It might even have caught a piece of the green, but that's a terrible shot. That is course management. Knowing my miss, and playing for it a little bit, giving myself a chance of a good one, staying positive, and sort of damage limitation. We've got a chance to make par. I'm taking credit for that one, guys. I've played it down the right-hand side. I've looked at where the bad one's likely to go, taken all those big, huge bunkers out of play, taken long out of play, and here we go. I'm proud of myself. Two putts for another par. And right in the heart of the hole, I've left it short again. Downhill and downwind, I've left it short. About four foot for another par. Sebi, come on, not making it so hard for yourself, Sebi. That was right in the hole as well. Ah, that is annoying. That is so annoying. Completely avoidable. But it's another bogey. 664 yards. And you know what, guys? It's playing into the wind, I think. This is now buckle up time. We've got to get over that disappointment. Got smug on that last one. Did all the difficult things well. The easy thing, rubbish. Very disappointed, but I've got to bounce back. What better to bounce back with than a 660 yard par five into the wind? Good news is I can't get to the bunkers. It's a three shotter, it might even be a four shotter. Let's just hit a drive up there. Uh oh. What's that? All right, it might be a bit of fairway there. We might have just found the rough for the first time. Not a good drive, not ideal. 420 yards to get on the green. Uh, I reckon it's a layup. Um, yeah, I've got an okay lie, it's not great. I, I just want to try and get over this first bunker. Realistically, I don't actually think I can get on in three because I don't think I can get it straight into the wind. I don't know if you can tell. To get this out 150, 160, it's gonna still leave like, 200 plus into the wind. So realistically, I've got to play this as a four shotter. This is where course management's key. I've got to just take my medicine. If I hit this out, left of that bunker, make sure I can advance it down. Don't need to be a hero here. Don't compound an error. I've gotten way closer to that bunker than I needed to, but I've rolled past it. I reckon it's gone 160. So it's still like 280 yards in from there. Well, I was right, 280 yards still to the flag. Um, I'm tempted to hit driver off the deck here. Tempted, because my three wood has been brilliant for me, my new Stealth 2 HD. Absolutely brilliant, but it's perfect for those par threes that I needed for, longer par threes, and for getting on the greens in two when I can. Landing soft, into the wind, it does jump up in the air a bit. So, I think I'm still gonna hit it, because driver off the deck is just risky, I could really flunk that. I was really tempted to hit drive off the deck here, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to play safe with the three wood. Oh, I've controlled that, lovely. Very pleased with that. 108 yards, the flag. Just to make a 660 yard par five easier, the pin is right at the back. I'm playing it like a 120 shot. I've got like a nice nine iron, try and get it there. Try and make up and down for a five. Oh, I feel it's so horrible and low, but it might just work. Got on the back of the green and spun back a little bit. It's a horrible, horrible thin strike. Chance for an unbelievable par, but also a chance for a no putt here, because this would be a no putt. And after that three putt, we could really use that. Don't want to count my laurels, because it's not going to be easy down the slope. I want to give this a look. I'd love to give this a look. This would be such a great one to make. I'm going to need to have some heroics today. Can't plod all day long. Give it a look, guys. Had a chance, all I can ask. Gonna be a bogey, but it's gonna be a one putt bogey. Gotta take the positives. Back to back bogeys for the first time. Bad news is, stroke index one is next. I need to, I think, toe draw this one a bit. Keeps it a bit lower, takes the spin off it. I just wanna find the fairway. There's water all down the right that you can't see. The good news is, I don't think I can get to that bunker. That's all I got. So all I've got, I've got the toe draw, spins off that. Fairway found. 
There's a reason I've still got this in my hand. It's 245 yards in, which is out of range normally, but it's into the wind. Could I squeeze a driver off the deck there? I don't think I could. I don't think I could. I think I could get close, but I bring in that massive water up the right-hand side. I think I've got to just try and do it the old-fashioned way. Now is all about course management. Do we need to hit it all the way there? I can't get there. There's an actually a big divot short right of the green, which means the actual layup here is only about 10 yards of fairway on the left. Everything else hits a bank and runs straight into the water, it looks like. So I can't even just bail out right. So I'm going to have to try and hit a low hybrid runner, I think. Oh, I've chunked it horribly, but you know what? Stay out of there. Not a great shot, but it's out to the left-hand side as we wanted. 92 yards in. I'm going to play as a 405-yard shot, 50 degree. Just going to go straight at it, guys. Try and keep it a bit down a bit. It's on an unbelievable line. Just be up. I can't see where it is, but I've got a feeling it's good. I honestly don't see loads in it. I'm not going to lie. I've left myself the right part. I'd like to be a bit nearer. Up here into the wind, I can be firm. Oh, so close, so close. I'm pleased I got it past the hole. That would have been so nice, but could have also been a lot worse. Right, four over, we need to hold on to this now. But the good news is we've finished the hardest hole on the course. Later on, we've still got to come. The easiest hole on the hardest course in the country. Can we get another birdie on this score? Can we finish only four over through the turn? If I can get to four over, hang on through nine, I'll be delighted with that. Ah, oh, cracking, the wind is pushing it. I think it's all right there though. It's bouncing, oh, we've got away with that one. 202 yards uphill. Now it's actually playing into the wind, I think. 233 long, it's a three wood. It's a three wood all day. Didn't really get all of it, but you know what, it might squeeze. It's a long way short, guys. It's a long way short, didn't get all of it. Okay, it's nowhere near the grid. Well, it isn't, it's 40 yards short. If you look at this green, it's on a two tier. Gotta be really, really precise to fly all the way there. I, I like to get this on the ground as quick as I can. I think I'm gonna bump and run this one. Get it running up here, out of the wind, roll up. And if I can, just try and get it on that top tier. It's the right pace. But trying to keep it low and get it running, I've turned it over a bit. I was a little worried about this bump here. And I shouldn't have been. I should have just let the bump do it. Didn't think it would go up there. I've got a chance for it, but it's a lot further away than I'd hoped. We needed that. We needed that. That is the fireworks. Four over through nine. We're on target, guys. Stick with me. Stick with me. I need that today, that's a good momentum save there. They're the sort of putts we need to make, save par. Use that momentum, although guys, this is stroke index two. Hardest hole on the back nine. Water up the right, don't think I can get to that water though. Just long and straight, it's always the way. Long and straight wins the day. Oh, it's straight, I don't know about long. It's 225 yards. Don't sound great, but I can get there. Downwind, hitting this three-wood all right. Just need to get a solid contact. Water right. I think, I think I'm just going to try and get this to the back of the green. If I can. I could probably hit hybrid here, but I just want to try and get one going, you know? Oh, no. Come out of that one. Go. 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 I've come out of that one big time. I've pushed that right. I think it's missed the water, but it's not great. Just going to bounce this one up. Run in. Get it running. Don't like flying them all the way there. I find it very hard to gauge that distance. Got a big weakness there. I just want to get this one running up. It's that top tier. Give myself a look at it again. Come on, Sebi. More magic needed. Oh dear. That was not my best. Now we're looking at up and down for bogey. We don't want doubles today. Doubles are going to make this even harder. Now I'm going to putt this. Roll it up closely. Quite pleased with that, can't lie. Need a little bit more. So hard to hit it hard. Downhill, downwind, even though coming through the fringe. 
Come on. Come on, we'll take that. Could easily have got ugly, that hole. 11th hole, 500 yards, not one of the longer ones. Into the wind, just got to get it to the fairway. Sounds ridiculous, just got to get it to the fairway. It's a bit pushy, but it's down there. I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to wear me down. 237 yards into a par four, into the wind. I can't get there, I can't get there. I've got to resist the urge to go to drive off the deck here, because that can get me a lot closer. I don't think it's the worst shot in the world to hit, to be honest. Didn't hit that, fair, that three wood great. I'm actually really tempted to go DOD here. I think I can squeeze it. I think I can carry this about 200 in the, in the air, into the wind, and then it's gonna roll. It could roll 20, 30 yards. I could get close here, but it's just, brings into play left. There's water all down the fairway left here, sort of why I blocked it right. There's horrible water up the right. I'm gonna try and hit a draw off those right bunkers. Okay, this could be the make or the break moment. Oh, I love it. It's not drawn, but it's gone good. Go, go. Now, I found the ball, that's a win from now. I found the ball, it's short of the green. I didn't quite get it like I wanted to but it's probably gone further than the three where it was gonna go. You know what, I can't actually run this one in because there's a bank and it's too risky. I'm gonna have to fly it there. It's gonna be a 54 high toe. These are the ones you do your scoring. Protect players like a par five, try and make birdie, think of it that way. Run a bit. That is perfect distance. Block to smidge if I'm being greedy, but we've got a chance to get the four. Make it into a birdie putt, that's what you gotta do. Turn these into birdie putts in your mind. It's about as nice a putt as I can get, to be honest. It's gonna break, I've gotta trust it. Outside the right edge. That's a shame. That is a shame. Okay, it's a bogey. It looks like there's a horrible runoff area short left here. Six over, we need to start putting together some back-to-back -to -back pars here. Playing a little too defensive maybe. I don't know, we need to drive off the deck the last, I don't know. Solid swing, these are one of the danger clubs for me, that's why I'm a little bit more apprehensive on this one. Need a good, true swing. Let the wind take it to the right, not the ball flight. It's not bad, you know. You know what, it's not bad at all. It took a nice straight bounce, that might have snuck on. Well, we didn't go in the bunker, but we're not on the green, quite a long way short, but I think I'm still gonna putt it. Just a few little bumpy bits and different ridges that I've got to chip over, make it difficult. Or maybe I should chip it, I don't know actually. What do you guys do here? I tend to, but at the moment, my short game's not quite as good as it was. I'm putting a lot more from around the greens. What do you guys like doing from this sort of shot? Putt or chip, let me know in the comments. You know what, it's rolled out nicely for me there, but once again, I've left myself one of those. They will tire you out from this range. Yes, come on, great three. I've actually played the par threes. Well, they're the ones I was most worried about, I think. Come on. Stroking deck 16, apparently, but look, is 615 yards. We're here at the yellow tee, which is less than 491 yards. We're going another 120 odd yards further back. Look how far away this gold tee is from this tee box here. Stay with me. Look, I'm on an okay score here. Thank goodness I'm a fairly straight driver because look at this rough. It's like this, as we'd have seen down some of the fairways, but look at that. If I do hit it way offline, if you are not a straight hitter, I would really not advise coming to play off the back gold tees here. Look, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting it round here. Stay with me, we're gonna grind this out. We're gonna try our best to break that 82. Maybe still a hope of breaking 80. Anything under my handicap with the course rating adjustment would be under 82. We've got to try and get, do that. We've got a few things to fight on. We want no double bogeys. I'd love to get one more birdie. One on the back nine would be nice. I've not missed a fairway left. I don't want to jinx it, but let's try and get one going a bit. Try and get that draw going. That's the one. I may well have just missed it left. That's going to get the run. Stay in the short stuff. Okay. It's down there, it's got a bit extra distance out of the run, hopefully. It's just miles. 350 yards to get on the green from here. So, it's three wood as big and as hard as I can. Oh, stay there. Stay there, it has. Soft. It's like a big bounce left that, but I think it's all right. What a lovely thing. Less than 150 into a green in reg. This is where I can't afford silly mistakes. This is, I've just got to play golf, okay? Just got to play golf. Oh, go, 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 go. It has. 
It has gone. It has gone. It squeezed there. Oh, wow, for a minute I thought I'd fluff that. Very pleased with that shot in. Done just what we needed to do, but now we've got to convert. Not loads, innit? I'm gonna go just off the right edge, I think. Do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. There we go. There we go. Give me an inch. I'm taking an inch. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's going a million over par, but that feels massive for the cause. This is it, guys. This is the easiest hole on the hardest course in the country. What a difference to the last hole. We're 125 yards further back than we were off the gold tees. This one's only 25 yards back off the gold tees. You go from there just to there. A good a chance we're going to get. Can we go back to back birdies? That would be absolutely massive. Yes. Oh no, don't get to the bunker. I've made a living on not being able to reach the bunkers off this gold tee. I hope I haven't just stopped that there. Honestly, I got so lucky there, because like, I was driving up here thinking I was going straight in the bunker. It's about 290 to the bunker. It's downwind a little bit. I've stopped 10 yards short, guys. I mean, I've never been so happy to be a short hitter in my life. 146 yards to the flag, playing downwind, pins looks like at the back. I think I'm gonna hit a nine iron, just get it on and running. Oh, fly ball flying is good. Fly the bunker. I felt like if I got it over, it was gonna take a big hop and run up the green. I don't think I quite got it. It was 130-ish to carry this. My 99 is about 125 club. I've got over. I think it's just dived into this. Let's hit. See either that's its pitch mark or that's its pitch mark. And it's just died. So right club, I think yes, wrong execution. It's gonna move off the left this one. We get it up that hill, even though it's downwind, up the hill all the way. Simmer now, simmer now, simmer now. Okay, I'm fairly pleased with that. It's got about four or five foot long, but it had a nice chance. I've got another one of those, haven't I? Yes, yes, yes. Every putt feels massive. And that is a nice little run we're on here now, coming into the final stretch. That is a par on the easiest hole on the hardest golf course in the country. Now we go to the final par three of the round, 15th. 242 yards to get on the green. Par three, water all down the right rough and bunkers all down the left. I think if I hit a good drive here, I'm still short of the green. This is the last big chance of a card wrecker potentially. I mean, don't get me wrong, all the holes are card wreckers here, but this isn't really so much so. I'm gonna have to hit driver and just hope it lands dry. That's simple as that. We're on an unbelievable score now. Five over par, four holes to play. Give me a four right now, I will bite your hand off. I'm honestly gonna play this as a par four, guys. I'm playing it as a short par four. Smooth, committed swing. I'm not gonna try and get to the green, so I will not get there. I didn't get it, but please be over. Please be over. It's over. It was not a good strike. It's a little bit out of the heel. It's a twist face special, that is. You know what? It's like 40 yards short of the green on a par three. Yes, that's embarrassing. Yes, that hurts my ego, but it does not hurt my scorecard today, let me tell you. If I ever want to make this a par 73, this would be a lovely risk reward short par four. Guys, do not adjust your sets. Yes, I am. 50 yards short of the pin on a par three and I hit driver. That's correct. I'm fine with it. I'm gonna pitch this up inside 10 foot if I can. Give me a chance for par. Pull the smidge, but that's pin high. Can we make this unbelievable par? It would be an absolute miracle par. It'll feel like a birdie. Come back, come back, come back! Oh, you know what? It would have been in if I did it softer. I cannot grumble. I said I'd give me a four and I'll bite your hand off. I'll bite your hand off. It could have been a three. That would have been awesome. But it's a four. 600 yard, par five, into wind. It's 240 yards to get to the fairway. I can't reach the fairway. This is now buckle up time. Listen to that wind. Look at the rough. This is what happens if I don't get to the fairway. I go in this. This is what I get in, I don't get to the fairway. I am really concerned. I thought that was the last problem. This is a problem. Oh God, don't, don't, don't ruin it like this, Seb. Don't ruin it. Oh, the wind stopped, quick, the wind stopped. Let's get one, come on. I think it's a bit of a short carry on the right. Oh, it's all I've got. It's all I've got and it's a drawy one. Go! Bounce, bounce! I don't know. It's all I've got though. Yes! It's in the fairway! It's in the fairway. What a pathetic person I'm cheering them in the fairway. Look at this. Look at this. Look what I had to carry. I carried it and there we are. We're in the fairway by all of seven yards. 
That feels like escaping massive danger. Oh, lovely. We've just got a mere 377 yards left in into the wind. Beautiful. If I can get within 200 yards for my third, I'll be buzzing. Ah, oh, fit it nice. Fit it nice. Just hope it's not in that bunker. No, it's 80 yards short of it. No problem at all. <laughs> okay, we're with it. Driver, three wood flushed, and we have 200 yards left into the wind. Lovely. It's definitely three wood. If I can just hit the same three wood again, I'll be pretty pleased. That's all I've got, Craig. It's all I've got and it's not on a bad line. Leaking a little bit to the right. Just see it bounce now. It's bounced. I think it might be short. Driver, three wood, three wood, ripped. And I'm short in a horrible little dip with a tucked pin. Oh God, there's just no room for anything other than brilliant shots. How do we play this one? I could putt this. I could fly up in the air. Don't really like doing that on upslope, so I can bump and run it. I think I'm gonna bump and run it, to be honest. I wanna be careful, because there's a runoff area there. There's a runoff area there. Gotta keep it out to the right a little bit, I think. It's not great, is it? It's not great. It's not great at all. It wouldn't be a bad six, but it'd be a brilliant five. Oh, do it for me, do it for me one time. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Right, it looks like both these last two holes, though they shouldn't be that difficult on paper, 406 yards, they're both gonna play into the wind. Uh, so this one I should be able to get on into, but there's just lots of issues. There's all that rough on the right, there's water on the left, bunkers on the left. Wind's taking me away from that, so I'm just gonna try and hit the middle of the fairway, obviously. Come on, Sebby, one more good drive, or two more, really, but start with this one. Hold on, hold on. Didn't get it great, but it's fairway. It's gonna be a long way in. 187 flag into the wind up the hill. 211 to go long into the wind. I don't think I'll go long with three wood, but I just don't know if I want to hit three wood at that. It looks like a lot of place I can lose my golf ball. Hybrid might just not get there though into the wind. It's 211 long. I'm going to hit three wood, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've hit it good. I need to commit to it. I shouldn't be able to go long. It should guarantee I get there over the bunkers. Just needs a good contact, good strike. Oh, that's all I've got again. It's got a bit high. That is down the throat of the flag. Went a little bit high, but this thing goes so straight for me. This Stealth 2 HD, 16 degrees in this thing. We've got a birdie putt, guys. We've got a birdie. What a good decision. Birdie putt. It's not a... Oh, okay, it's a bit longer than I thought. 20 foot? I think it's a good old break, especially at the end. I'm playing this about two foot right, I think. Get it to the hole, Sebby. Finally, a nice tap-in par. Stress-free, and guys, we are six over with one hole to play on the hardest golf course in the country. Nearly 8,000 yards we've done, one hole left. It is a par four, and you know what? It's only 402 yards. Okay, this is it, 400 yards. I need a bogey to break 80. A bogey here puts me seven over, and that'll be a 79 I'll be delighted with. But we don't want a bogey, do we? We want another par, we're on an absolute run here. Today so far, we've hit 10 out of 13 fairways. That is the key. Miss the fairway here, you are dead. It's a reload, you're dead. Got away with one earlier on that par five, but thankfully we haven't had to get lucky too many times. Hit a lot of fairways, that is good. Greens, eight out of 17, less than 50%. Not a surprise for me normally, let alone a golf course like this. Pretty happy with that. 27 putts. The back nine especially, we've had one, two, three, four, five, one putts through seven holes. That's the difference. Miss a lot of greens, make those up and downs. Right now, what we're dealing with is a dog leg left with a tree in the middle of the fairway. There's bunkers to the right. Don't think I can get to them. That is my shot. All I've got to do here is get over that tree. Before I play this crazy hole, I want to give a shout out. Look how cool these balls are. These are some of the TP5 Pix balls. I thought I'd bring these ones out. These are Hawaii special for the Sony Open earlier in the year, but look, the matching of the outfit and the ball, that's next level stuff. I mentioned about signing up for that tailor-made competition, free to enter down below. Also, if you sign up for that, you can enter for a newsletter if you want to, where you get an update on limited edition items like this. They make them in super, super limited runs. If you sign up to the newsletter, you get notified first, you can get them before they sell out, because they always go quick. Not lose the ball, and we're okay. <sighs> Stay there, stay there. 
Right, it's not on the fairway. I'll be honest, I've found that to the right. I was worried about the tree, the wind's taking it. I, I, there's a chance it's going in the long stuff. It, I think it stopped short in that shadow. Damn it. Damn it. Come and look at it. This is what I mean. It's not as bad as some of the rough around here, but it's not great. Look at that lie. We're dealing with 174 yards. There's no way I'm getting 174 at that lie. I need to just nudge it down and play these percentages. That's really annoying. We're back in play. Oh man, okay, switch on. 77 yards, this is not over guys. If you have enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. Hope you got some value out of it. I hope you enjoyed this golf course. If you are gonna come here, be careful with the gold tees. Beautiful place to come and stay. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe because as well as this video, we've also done a video where we play 18 stroke index ones playing a whole round of golf using only stroke index ones from 18 different golf courses, some beautiful courses on there just like this one. We're doing the same thing as well coming soon, 18 stroke index 18s, which included playing the easiest golf course statistically in the country. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that, so make sure you subscribe. 77 yards into the wind over a bunker. Come on. I love it. I love it, be good. Oh, it's just delicious. It's just delicious. We might squeeze a par out of this yet. Come on, Sebi, one more putt. It's gonna have to move off the right, I think. Sort of downhill, but uphill. How's that possible? Oh, I've not even hit it. I've not even hit it. Sebi, 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 that is what you call limping home. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. Thank God for that. That was a lot of fun. See you soon.